Every programmer who works privately on a larger project has a very specific problem that comes up again and again. Some days you're just lazy. You just can't get into the so-called tunnel where you're just fully focused on your project or the feature you're working on and you just don't get the bread baked that day. I recently had this problem too and once asked another programmer how he actually manages to focus so much on his project, work so well on it and be in this tunnel mode almost constantly. And the tip he gave me was so simple but also so good and works so blatantly that I just wanted to share it with you today. By the way, if you're a beginner or advanced programmer and are developing with Java, then definitely check out JSparrow. The Eclipse add-on tool really saves you a lot of time when refactoring your code and is available in 14 languages including Java 17. You can exchange old legacy code directly with the click of a button or learn Java best practice with its life markers. JSparrow offers a free trial and you can test and use it without a credit card. Check it out right away, link is in the video description. Now we come to the tip I want to give you in this video. Of course, we all know these typical tips you absolutely have to follow in order to be productive at all. Of course, you should close your chat small if you want to focus now and you should mute your phone or put it on the side so that it doesn't just distract you. Because once you get distracted and pulled out of your tunnel mode, you can't get back in that quickly again. Of course, these are the absolute basics that you have to comply with anyway. The actual tip, which this video is about, is also a very simple one. Namely, if one day you feel lazy and don't really want to get down to one of your projects to solve some complex problem and just don't feel in the mood for it, then don't start programming with just any complicated task, but then program something very, very simple. There are several things to work on every project and this includes absolutely trivial tasks. Tasks that don't require a lot of thinking, don't require you to get into a tunnel mode and can be completed in a short amount of time. Such tasks really offer you the perfect opportunity to just get back in to slowly but surely get into work mode and then work on the bigger tasks. And why that works is actually pretty easy to explain. Getting started is always the hardest part. Once you're in, you're in. Then you can work through your tasks and then it fits. Then you're in this mode in which you really say, I'm working now. But if you haven't started yet, the hardest thing to overcome is to go into work mode somehow and get things done. And with these absolute mini tasks, it's really easy. This is a very easy transition into this mode. So just give it a try. I just recently discovered this for myself, this approach, and it helped me tremendously. If you have other tips on how to increase your productivity or you have video ideas and suggestions, then please leave them for me in the comments. I'll definitely read them all and I'm definitely very excited to hear about it. If you liked this video and learned something from it, subscribe to this channel. Programming related videos come here regularly and if that's your thing then subscribe and if it helped you then I'd really appreciate a thumbs up as well. With this in mind, I say goodbye and have a nice day programming.